It is one of the most hallowed halls in all of college basketball. Edwin W. Poly Pavilion on campus at UCLA in Westwood. It's still sunny and warm on the West Coast. We take it indoors, a matchup of two undefeated teams. Maryland comes in 7-0 against the UCLA Bruins, and it's the first time Maryland has been in Westwood since 1995. No surprise to find the Terps among the nation's top five. They seem to live there now. The 2006 national champions, four straight years in the NCAAs. The lead extended to 14, and Maryland needs to find an answer quickly. 69-53. Oliver looked over the bench, goes for the lob to Langhorn. That's an easy bucket. Best sequence of the second half for Maryland. 12 points now for Crystal Langhorn. For UCLA, it is important that they don't sit and look at that scoreboard and the clock. You need to play through. You need to use clock offensively and just try to get good shots each and every time down the floor. Tolliver, and that's a five-point run right there for Maryland in about 20 seconds. 15 now for Tolliver, and look at this. Maryland's starting to answer back. Watchers, a rebound against two defenders wouldn't go. UCLA just playing some wild basketball right now. A very cavalier attitude against the number three team in the country. Tolliver, a great look inside. Strickland was all alone. And now it's a seven-point game, a ton of time. Well, you build a 16-point lead, you start patting yourself on the back and getting excited and having a party. But it's not party time to that final horn goes, and this Maryland team is experienced. They've been through the ringer before. They know it. They know what it takes, and UCLA, they're young, and they're trying to figure it out. So they go into the senior. Plummer spins to the middle. Too strong. Wouldn't go. Coleman snaps that rebound out of the air. A huge trip for the Terps. Harper has an 18-footer. Bang! 71-66, 3.41 to play. UCLA 3-0, Maryland 7-0, and ranked number three in the country. And I think with a young team, you need to take your timeouts earlier rather than later. And Plummer vacated the block right as Tiki Island's entry came in. Turnover 15 for UCLA, and end-to-end -end by Maryland. It's a three-point game. Harper can make it a one-point game. You've got to be impressed with Maryland's character. And I think if you're UCLA, you have to look up and say, we're winning this ball game right now. We can go back to what we're doing so well and just get yourself fired up, play good position defense. If there's an opportunity to steal, you go for it. Maryland, good spread on their offense. Oh, great backdoor look. And that was a set play. And Maryland goes back in front, 72-71. Rodgers and Plummer kick out. Campbell gaps the defense to Henderson. Henderson between defenders and scores. Bruins by one, minute and a half. Talk about making something out of nothing. She just kept probing, probing until she found a little blue highlight. Now the crowd's back into it. The Bruin bench up to their feet once again. Perry just checked in, looking for some help. One-on-one -on -one coverage on Langhorn down low with Plummer. Maryland, the number three team in the nation. Undefeated at 7-0. Tolliver, left alone, 21-footer. She got the switch she wanted. Rogers switched out, and she just stepped back and knocked down a huge three. And look at this Maryland team. Everybody off the bench. All over, Christy Tolliver with another sensational clutch shot. You know, we talked about what this game does for UCLA. What does this game do for Maryland? I mean, you've beaten Oklahoma, you've beaten LSU, you've beaten Notre Dame. You take this swing, eight games in 16 days, it's unheard of. Well, all these games we mentioned before, 14 games in 31 days, they've already beaten three ranked teams, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, LSU, they won the WNIT. And go up to Santa Barbara and have to survive that, come down here, they're way behind the comeback. It reminds me of that old ad campaign, who's got next? An amazing effort and a tip of the cap to Maryland. An entire team showing a lot of character. That is going to do it for our producer, Dennis Kirkpatrick, our director, Lori Brooks, and my broadcasting partner, Mary Murphy. I'm Jim Watson saying so long from Pauly Pavilion on campus at UCLA. The Bruins gave it a run, but the kids came up short. Maryland is 8-0 and still number three in the nation. The Bruins fall to 3-1. Maryland beats UCLA 79-75. Hey, coach, they're coming home.